after Rishi Sunak in the UK, will an Indian origin person now become the President of the United States, the biggest military and economic power in the world? Indian-American Vivek Ramaswamy was the most Google searched GOP candidate for the first Republican presidential debate. In fact, Ramaswamy received 28% of the 504 votes cast, ahead of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis with 27%. The Indian American now claims that many people are annoyed by his success as they believe a 38-year-old is too young to become a President of the United States. Both Biden and Trump are more than twice of Ramaswamy's age at 80 years and 77 years respectively. The statement comes days after some of his former co-workers allegedly called him neurotic and paranoid. Despite such intense media scrutiny, Ramaswamy is emerging as a popular leader. He was more Google searched than the likes of DeSantis, who many believed would be the biggest challenger to Trump as the Republican presidential candidate. After the opinion poll results, Ramaswamy says, with his rising admiration, criticism also increased against him. Recently, US President Joe Biden slammed Ramaswamy for questioning climate change. At the party's first debate last month, the entrepreneur turned politician said the reality is more people are dying of bad climate change policies than they are of actual climate change. His comments came just a month after Hawaii experienced rampant wildfires and California experienced heavy flooding. Ramaswamy has expressed strong opinions on a variety of issues that have kept him in the headlines, including his belief that there are only two genders. Reverse racism is racism, an open border is no border, and capitalism lifts people up from poverty. These are just some statements made by Ramaswamy during his Republican debate last month. He also gained attention for his comments on the 9-11 attacks. More recently, the Indian-American Republican presidential candidate criticized the H-1B visa program, which allows tens of thousands of Indian professionals to work in the United States each year. He referred to the H-1B program as a lottery system and promised to repeal it and replace it with a merit-based admission if he wins the race to the White House in 2024. The H-1B visa, which is highly sought after among Indian IT professionals, is a non-immigrant visa that allows US companies to hire foreign workers in speciality occupations requiring theoretical or technical ability. Ramaswamy himself has used the H-1B visa program 29 times to hire people for his company. According to statistics, Indians reportedly make up to 73%, nearly three-fourths, of the 4.42 lakh H-1B workers in the fiscal year 2022-23. Any modifications put forward by Ramaswamy might have a considerable impact on Indians and the Indian diaspora. A merit-based system would almost certainly boost competition and this might make obtaining an H-1B visa more difficult for some. Ramaswamy has also stated that he will use military action to secure US borders and that he will deport undocumented immigrants' children born in the United States. Vivek Ramaswamy has been crisscrossing the early primary states of the 2024 presidential cycle for months which has seen him emerge as the most popular candidate so far. However, as we get closer to the elections, the scrutiny and the spotlight will increase further. To win a presidential election, Vivek Ramaswamy would need to navigate the competitive political landscape, build a broad coalition of supporters, and articulate a compelling vision for America in the 21st century. What do you believe? If he somehow wins the presidential election, what will Ramaswamy's impact be on India-US relations? Hit the like button and leave a comment.